This is an update to the GeoSketch Tools video for the Pitched Roof tool to show enhancements that have been added for GeoSketch 2.0. First we'll bring up the roof settings panel and we'll choose the gable roof style. And we have a new entry in the panel called Gable Fascia which gives the vertical height of the fascia trim around a gable roof. This was necessary so that we have manifold geometry that can be reused with the new SketchUp Solid tools in SketchUp 8.0. We're using geotypical texturing for both the roof and the walls. So I'll go ahead and build a sample model. There's our gable roof and you can see here that we now have the fascia all the way around the edge. The other thing that's new is that we've created this as a group so that we can use it with the uh, solid tools. So I'll continue making some extensions to this and it's important to remember to switch to the ridge ridge option which we see in the prompt with the gable style ridge profile ridge plane. So now we'll extend the wing off of this building. We'll get our inferencing that tells us when it's perpendicular to the existing roof and then we'll get inferencing that tells us when the eaves match and of course you don't have to have the ease match so we can use the control key so I'll go out from here get that perpendicular inferencing and then when you hold down the control key as with all GeoSketch inferencing it turns it off so that you can choose to get a different uh, position for that feature so there we have a multi-level roof you can also put one on the end face here And we can also add some dormers. For the dormers, we might wish to have a smaller overhang value, so just one foot. And we'll create a dormer here. And for a row of dormers, it would be better to just repeat this group so we can use the move tool, but we need a line to uh, project that along. So it's better to use the GeoSketch line tool so that we can get the inferencing that will be perpendicular to the, or parallel to existing geometry of the roof. And now when we use the move tool, we can hit the control key so that we're creating copies. And then we can inference along that line. If we didn't do that, then the SketchUp inferencing wouldn't help us because we're not in one of the primary axis directions. So we can repeat that in line. So the next thing that we would want to do, right now these are all separate groups. So if I use the select tool, this is the main roof is a group. And each one of these is a group. So we can use the SketchUp outer shell tool. And so we can select first the main part of the house. Then we just select each of these other pieces. And they all get basically union together to create one primitive and if we edit that primitive and we go to the bottom of it and delete this face we can look inside and see that there is no extraneous geometry we have a nice neat uh, construction of just the roof geometry the outer shell for that model and of course we want to go back and erase that line that we used for lining up the dormers So those are the new features for the GeoSketch 2.0 and the Boolean operations and the groups apply to the other roof styles of HIP and Mansert as well.